In this example, we are taking annual population of a country and we are representing it in two columns. In one column, we have years and in second column, we have the value or the headcount. Now we'll talk about moving average, which is sometimes called as running average or some people also call it as rolling average. It is a very common term used in statistics and it is uh, used to analyze data points by creating a series of averages of different subsets. We define it in uh, different terms like two day moving average, three day moving average and four day moving average like that. So if I talk about two day moving average, in this case, we have data in terms of years. So I won't call it as two day moving average. Instead, I will call it as two year moving average. Uh, basically for different data points so if i take previous two values uh, let's say for 1960 uh, and 61 and i take an average and put it here in the respective column of let's say 61 and if i soon do it for entire data set this data i will call it as moving average and if i try to calculate the deviation of the actual value with this moving average value i will get the numbers here but I am taking the absolute value of it. So if I take average of the entire deviation here, after taking the absolute value, if I take the average here, I will call that average as moving average deviation, or we can also call it as mad value. So the number would be equals average and sum up all the numbers from here to here so it gives me a number right so this is called as moving average now we have manually treat this calculation excel has some powerful tools to do this uh, automatically let us delete this uh, these values and go to data here we have data analysis tab if you do not see this option that means you do not have this enabled so first of all you need to go to file option add-ins and here you need to activate your analysis pack go here select here and then click on ok you will see data analysis option so if you go to data analysis select moving average from there after that you select the input range which is uh, p2 till uh, the last row um, and you check on the labels because you have the label selected you will get the moving average value first uh, value is na because uh, you do not have the previous value ie for the year 1959 and you also see a beautiful curve uh, which is for the moving average uh, as it proceeds uh, if you talk about the absolute def uh, uh, deviation uh, you can subtract uh, the actual value and this moving average value so that's all about moving average in the next tutorial we will see the python implementation of moving average also we will see exponential smoothing and regression thank you for being with us stay tuned bye bye